so hello everyone in this video we'll be solving some of the queries in the banking system we created so the first problem is or the first query that we have to execute is write a query to display the customer name first name customer's date of birth display in sorted order of date of birth year and within that sort by first name so we have to show the name of the customer and the number of the customer basically and the first name and the date of birth and we have to order them with the year in which they, are, they were born and also by the first name so let's do that in MySQL workbench let me just remove these insert queries now first of all uh, let's see the customer name so we have F name and middle name we also have L name and we have DOB as a date so for that we'll be writing a simple uh, query which is a select query because we want to select right so that's why we'll be writing select then we can specify customer ID whatever the fields we want to grab we can grab it if you want to show M name middle name if you want to show L name as well so you can show that as well and you can specify from the table name which is our customer table you can specify that and it will be easier in this way if we add order by query so that will be easier to sort all these uh, uh, data which we will be grabbing let me just first show you if I uh, don't add an order by field what will happen or what it will give us so if I just refresh it okay okay let me just first read the arrow so it's saying last name is this one right if I just do that so you can see last name is there but now we want to uh, basically order them so we'll be adding an order by in here I can specify order by and then I can uh, specify uh, the year as we know that we have inserted a uh, DOB in uh, the date format so we can easily grab the year with the help of extract keyword and then we can grab the year grab year from where we can grab it from the DOB so we can specify the DOB here and then after that we also have F name which is the first name because in the question as we know that we have to order by the first name so we can specify that as well and it should be an ascending order so we can specify that and this is the default way so we if we don't specify that so that will also work so if I refresh it you can see uh, I'm having Abhishek, Avinash, Nisha, Naveen, Parul and they are in the alphabetical orders uh, yeah if I add it let's see okay you can see there is no difference in it yeah now also to understand everything we I'll also be grabbing DOB so we can also see the DOB as well you can see it's 73 year like 1973 and then we have uh, 1974 and so on so it's ordered by the first name and the DOB so according to that we are just uh, selecting them 
now let's go for the next query which is write a query to display uh, the customer's number first name and middle name the customers who don't have a middle name for them display the last name give the alias name as customer name so it is very easy if we specify uh, just a Uh, asking us for any sorting or anything we are just uh, will be just using an alias for the customer name so that we can do so let's select all these things so let's go inside our code so it asked from us what did it ask so it asked for customer number first name middle name the num uh, the customers uh, customers who don't have a middle name for them display the last name okay so let's uh, remove this order by because we don't need it and let's add all of these things so it asks for customer ID which we are doing it F name and then uh, for M name it is saying like if we don't have it so we'll just be showing uh, M name otherwise L name so we can specify an if condition here in that we can specify if M name is not null then we can specify M name otherwise we can specify last name simple so we don't need other fields if you want to show them so you can specify so this if statement what it will do is it will uh, show middle name otherwise the last name if the middle name is not null so it will show M name otherwise it will show L name or the last also we forgot to add any alias for that so we can specify alias with the help of AS and then the alias which, uh, which it suggested was customer underscore name or cust underscore name you can see so this is the alias that we have to add that we can simply use it here so I think let's execute it so you can see we are having a customer name right so this is it uh, this one worked fine now what we can do is we can go for the next query which is also about a select I think writing a query to display account number customers name uh, customers number customers first name last name account opening date as you can see uh, it is asking for us uh, like asking from us account number as well so we'll be also using account table with the help of a join so we can do that simply so what we can do is uh, we can uh, select all these things whatever it will it is asking so it is asking from us the account number so we can specify the account number so we can specify select account dot account number so this is account number then it is asking from us the customers number the customers number is basically nothing but the customer ID so we can specify that and then we can specify the customer name it is asking for the customer first name so we can specify customer dot F name then we can specify the last name and account account opening date okay so we can specify customer dot last name sorry last name and then we can specify account opening date account opening date is uh, basically inside the account table so we can specify account will be grabbing it from the account table 
or customer table you can specify that and then we'll be adding a join so we can also specify it as an inner join because uh, this is the default join so we can if we don't specify that so that will also work but if you want to specify that it is an inner join so you can specify that so it will specify inner join and then after that we can specify on basically the foreign key inside the account table that we have to specify which is nothing but the customer id so we have to match all the all the records which matches with the customer id in the customer uh, table basically from the account table so we can specify customer dot customer id and then we can add a semicolon if i do that so you can see we are having list of uh, users with their account number and the customer id and the first name and the last name with the account opening date so this is it how we did it if you don't specify inner join or inner keyword that will also work because that's the default join we use so that will also work so this was it let's meet in the next video in, in which we'll be solving remaining queries so thank you for watching let's meet in the next video